Hey guys, Andrew Gadgets here, showing you a new product to help make your repairs even easier. Today we're going to be looking at the iPower Max, which is going to help you power your devices with a DC power supply, allowing easier power consumption, monitoring, and diagnosis. So let's go ahead and take a look at the device along with how to set it up and use it properly with your repair flow. Alright, so before we get into the actual usage of the device, we have to set it up. All right, so what we've got here are the cables right here. So for each of the models, the DC power supply and the heat shrink, which are all color coded for you. So it makes it a little bit easier, obviously, to differentiate um, the end pieces to the iPhone models once you have it all set up. All right, so let's go ahead and take our cable and slide the heat shrink over it because it's not gonna be possible to do this uh, once you have it all set up. So it's a good idea to go ahead and get it done right now. And the heat shrink actually provides the needed cable protection for daily use and abuse of all your cable joints. All right, so these are the little FPC connectors. Um, so once you have the heat shrink set over the cables, let's go ahead and pre tin our connector pads. Uh, which you can see, these are also labeled as to which line the pad corresponds to, and it's then color coded to match the image on the back of your box. Um, of course, if you're following along with the video, the screen in front of you, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process a little bit, kind of get the idea of what I'm doing, obviously. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and uh, just solder the ends of the wires based on the colors to the correctly labeled pads and clean off any residual flux from the process. Uh, I'm going to speed this up a little bit too, but it's a pretty straightforward process as long as you have basic soldering skills. So overall, overall I just did a uh, three times speed on this and it's literally a 45 second gap of speeding this up. So this process takes maybe two to three minutes uh, if you if you have decent or basic soldering skills it's really a pretty simple process overall all right so once you've done this let's go ahead and uh, slide that heat shrink down the cable and over the exposed wires and you're going to use your heat evenly over the heat shrink to activate it uh, you'll see it kind of just shrink around the wires and of course you'll want to repeat this process for all the cables and you're just going to be kind of ready to go. Uh, once again, you either want to use just a, a heat gun or a hot air station. Either of those are going to work perfectly fine. And if any of your cables ever kind of get worn out, I mean, we do carry them at AndrewGadgets.com. So we're going to have a link to all these products, the cables, the actual iPower Max in the description below. So feel free to obviously check those out, click those if you need any of the replacement products. All right, so we've got it all set up over here now, and it's time to go ahead and play with our iPower Max. All right, so what you want to do now is, of course, set the voltage of your DC power supply to 4.23 volts. Uh, that's a pretty good mid-level operational range device voltage. And make sure that your amperage is set to push at least 2 amps. All right, um, once that's all set, you're ready to get working with the iPower Max. Alright, so since it's all set, let's go ahead and get the corresponding cables and plug them in accordingly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the red to the red plus, or the positive terminal, and black to the negative or the ground terminal. Alright, you can then plug the ends of the other side of the cable into your dock FPC and the battery terminal on your target device, as you can see here. Once that's done, go ahead and press the on-off button to give power to the tool and then the PW button, you see that, directly next to it, it's going to function the same as the power button on the device, giving you the ability to signal the device to boot up. All right. Now you're basically using the iPower Max. It's as simple as that. It's compatible with all the iPhones from the 6 up to the 10s Max. Uh, we've got all the FPC cables on our website, so if you're interested in picking up the iPower Max, visit us at IndraGadget.com and search for the iPower Max and add it to your cart today. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. For all your repair parts and tools, visit us at injuredgadgets.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys.